You know, I have been feeling a little old lately. It might sound weird, but I have been sitting a lot, working a lot, writing, coding, studying, and I've been just having these different pains and aches in my back. Just, just all over, all over my body. So I guess it's normal. I guess it's just part of life. And we need to get used to that. We need to accept that one day we will age. We will become old. Or do we have to accept this? In my last video, I broached the subject of various numerous anti-aging startups that started emerging in the last decade or so. Some of them got really impressive backup from ridiculously rich investors, but as of yet, there is no new cure for aging available in your local pharmacy. The aging process of human beings is so complicated that achieving any significant breakthrough and seeing noteworthy in human results will be quite an endeavor. So, uh, since I mentioned pharmacies, uh, okay, um, I am a pharmacist myself. <laughs> I work in the pharmaceutical industry. I'm also a writer and I'm very much interested in various things, but I've been mainly talking about anti-aging and various other startups, and this video is going to be no different. The next one is going to be kind of about productivity. Let's see about that. So, watch this space. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three most interesting anti-aging startups. So, which exactly startups am I calling the most interesting ones? Well, the ones that I just chose. <laughs> and that was because they either had an interesting history or a very exciting pipeline, technology or science behind them. I have already talked about Altus Labs, which is an anti-aging startup with very noteworthy investors. So that was in my last video. You can find it linked in the description. So my hope is that in the future we will see results from well-powered clinical trials. And those clinical trials, of course, will be for various anti-aging treatments. I think this is the right and unethical thing to do, to strive for a very well-designed research for tackling the issue of aging. Because myself, I do consider that a disease. So I will divide every section for each anti-aging startup into three subsections. So I will talk about their history, about their technology, and about their pipeline. Although for one of them, there is really no pipeline to write home about. HX Therapeutics So the company was founded in 2017 in the US, in California, by Michael D. West. You can see his LinkedIn profile right here. And he is a scientist with a doctorate in cell biology. It looks like he has served as the CEO of various biotech companies since the early 90s, just to start HX five years ago. Under his leadership of Giron Corps, telomerase, which is an enzyme responsible for maintenance of the length of telomas, so that was isolated for the first time then. He also participated in the collaboration that led to isolation of pluripotent stem cells in the early 1990s. So HX Therapeutics developed their own technology, which looks really interesting and they talk about it extensively on their website. They establish various platforms that should help the company develop medicines that will tackle aging. So the first one is Pure Stem. It is a platform that should allow the company to generate pluripotent stem cell-derived therapies. The second one is Induced Tissue Regeneration. It's a technology that is supposed to allow reversing the age of human cells back to the very beginning of life and promote recovery of tissues. The third one is Universite. It's a technology that should prevent transplant rejection. And the last one is High Stem Delivery Technology, and it's a hydrogel facilitating cellular attachment in the body. HX Therapeutics have two cell-based therapies and one drug-based formulation in development. They are supposed to tackle age-related diseases such as type 2 diabetes or promote regeneration of tissues. All of them are still in the preclinical phase of research, so it might take long years before we will see any of these medications on the market. 
Human Longevity. This other US-based company was founded in 2013 by Peter Diamandis and Craig Venta. Both are scientists and businessmen with very interesting portfolios. Craig Venta is very well known due to his involvement in the sequencing of the human genome. He is also a recognized philosopher. Interestingly, Peter Diamandis is on the other hand a best-selling book author. One of his books, published in 2012, is titled Abundance. The future is better than you think. So 10 years later, you can't help but wonder how well this title has aged. Peter is also a great enthusiast of space tourism. I am not sure why there seems to be this connection between rich people who want to travel in space and also live forever. It would be very interesting to see what the fruits of this unusual collaboration would be. But actually, in 2018, Venta left the company. In the same year, he was brought to court by human longevity. The company filed a lawsuit against him accusing him of stealing trade secrets, which they did not manage to prove. They accused him of potentially stealing their clients and trying to poach the staff. Human Longevity has a very pretty website where they encourage its guests to enroll in something called Human Longevity Care Membership Program 100+. So it is supposed to proactively lead members to a longer, healthier life based on cutting-edge genomic insights, AI-driven whole body imaging, risk detection and prevention, as well as state-of-the-art brain and body strengthening. It looks like this is some VIP service for very rich people where your whole genome will be sequenced and your whole body scanned and analyzed by an army of physicians. So, I found some articles which were referring to the price of these services, however, I didn't find anything that would be from this year, from 2022. So, I'm not going to talk about how expensive it is, however, we can make our assumptions, I think. <laughs> Members of this elite group will receive unmatched anytime exclusive global access to the world's most advanced longevity care science, technologies, services and experts all year, every year. So there is no pipeline per se for this whole 100 plus members group. I am not sure exactly what kind of treatments they use and, or how effective they are. The company seems to be focused mainly on early diagnostics and preventing diseases which could potentially affect the member's health span or lifespan. What is more, the service is only available to the people living in the US. Unity Biotechnology so you might have heard of senescent cells, but you know exactly what they are. Senescent cells are cells that reach the stage of cellular senescence, where they do not multiply, but also do not die. They also undergo specific alterations. Various research suggests that those cells are related to the processes of aging and tissue regeneration. Chemicals released by those cells can trigger inflammation in the body. So the older you are, the more senescent cells you have accumulated in your body. And unfortunately, this increased number of senescent cells in the human body has been correlated with such manifestations as impaired cognitive function or decreased efficiency of your immune system. And those cells are exactly the target of the medications that Unity Biotechnology wants to develop. One of the founders of the company is Judith Campisi, a biologist widely known for her research on senescent cells. Unity Biotechnology is aimed at producing medications that will either eliminate or modulate senescent cells. This way, they want to address one of the root causes of aging-related diseases, such as dementia, fibrosis, retinopathies, etc. Something that is very exciting is that there is one molecule of Unity Biotechnology which is in phase 2 clinical trials, and it has a very poetic name, UPX1325. The treatment is aimed at age-related diseases of the eye, such as diabetic macular edema, diabetic retinopathy, and macular degeneration. Initial data from this study should be released in the first half of 2022. None of their other molecules are currently in clinical trials. So there was another candidate drug of this company, UBX0101, which unfortunately missed its primary endpoint in phase 2 clinical trials back in 2020. I only tell you that just to help you realize how common it is. It happens all the time 
that various medications, unfortunately, do not reach their primary outcomes of their clinical trials. So basically, they are not as effective or as safe as they were supposed to be. So at last, my thoughts. So if by any chance you are well versed in the topic of anti-aging startups, you might be surprised that I skipped some very popular candidates <laughs> such as Samumet or Calico. So Samumet was founded in 2008 and currently it has a new name, Biosplice. And also it has interesting potential treatment for osteoarthritis. It looks like the company works on age-related diseases through alternative splicing and those diseases are for example arthritis or Alzheimer, but it doesn't claim to be potentially able to cure aging. However, it works on age-related illnesses, so it is relevant to this video. On the other hand, Calico, a Google company, created a lot of hype several years ago, just to become quiet for a long time. And I haven't really had any updates about them in a couple of years. So you cannot find much information about Calico's developments, apart from the fact that they are trying to understand how very cute animals and other beings such as yeast, sea elegans, well, worms, mice and <laughs> naked mole rats age. Doesn't mean that they won't achieve anything interesting, but we need to remember that with medical research, even if you have really impressive resources, the best talent, nothing is ever granted. So one trend that I noticed was that all of these startups, all of these three exciting startups that I talked about, they are all based in California. <laughs> it's becoming a running joke on this channel, I think. So of course, I would love to see other startups based in Europe or Asia with similar resources and similar notoriety because of course the issue of aging is absolutely becoming universal. So I only found one startup with investments that could compete with the ones from San Diego and this is a UK based company Juvenescence. However, the first thing that jumped on me after opening their website was a ketogenic green juice. So perhaps I don't feel ready to talk about this yet. I feel like this topic might deserve its own five minutes of fame on my channel. As with any other issue that is abandoned in our society, when there is any potential breakthrough that relates to anti-aging, it automatically creates a lot of buzz by the media. We need to remember that nothing is ever granted, no matter how much resources, how much talent, how many amazing minds you will invest in your medical research, even if everything is perfectly planned, you never know what will happen. So please remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it's probably that. Also, it is especially pronounced if you can link this new development to a big name, to a very popular name such as Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. So please, consider yourself warned and please keep your mind open.